Armand Seguin, Wikipedia article audio. Armand Jean Francois Seguin or Seguin was a French chemist and physiologist who discovered a faster and cheaper process for tanning leather. As a result, he became immensely rich through the supply of leather to Napoleon's armies. He was born on March 21, 1767 in Paris and died on January 23, 1835. From 1789 he was involved in several important areas of scientific research, the composition the water, the physiology of respiration and perspiration, and in determining techniques for the fusion and analysis of platinum. Scientific Career Tanning Armand Seguin was a collaborator and human guinea pig with Antoine Lavoisier in his experiments on animal respiration. Lavoisier had an interest in the purification of platinum and its use in making vessels for use in chemical research. In 1790 presented a paper observations on platinum to the Académie des Sciences with which he showed some examples of the work of Marc Etienne Janity, the royal goldsmith to Louis XVI who had found himself left with a large stock of platinum when the French Revolution reduced the demand. Lavoisier was otherwise occupied and passed the research project to Seguin. James Hall the Scottish geologist records visiting Lavoisier in Paris in 1791. Went with M. Seguin to Genetti Rue de l'Arbre section. He works in Platina. I bespoke a little spoon for the blowpipe and end cup with some wire of that metal. M. S. told me that as prepared the metal does not stand the action of pure caustic alkali when urged by a great heat for by this means it becomes porous and lets the alkali through by acting as it is supposed upon the arsenic which has not been thoroughly driven off. Yet in this state it will answer many purposes. Seguin and Lavoisier attempted to solve the problem of purification and approached Josiah Wedgwood for an advice on suitable refractory, he was unable to help and passed on the request to Joseph Priestley who said he considered magnesia to be the most likely substance to withstand such intense heats. In the end their attempt failed and it was left to Janity to solve and to sell his stock of platinum. Family From 1790 until his death Seguin was associated with the editorial board of the scientific journal Annals de Chimie et de Physique, which is still published, now named Annals de Chimie et de Physique. After Lavoisier's execution in 1794 Seguin started a collaboration with Lavoisier's widow, Marie-Anne Pierrette Pauls to publish a memoir of her husband. This ended abruptly when, according to Madame Lavoisier, Seguin gave too much importance to his own collaboration with the father of modern chemistry and also refused to publicly condemn the murderers of Lavoisier. In 1802, Armand Seguin worked with Bernard Courtois at the École Polytechnique on the study of opium. Together they isolated morphine, the first known alkaloid, from opium. Seguin presented his first memoir on opium to the French Institute in 1804 but failed to mention Coteau's contribution. It was his meticulous chemical research into the process of tanning that shaped his later life. Previous to the experiments of Seguin, the process of tanning was an operation of much time and trouble, even years were necessary to bring the hide to a state of leather. The revolution this chemist has brought about in this art enables the tanner to complete his formerly arduous process in the short space of a few days, whilst the leather is superior in quality to that made after the old method. Seguin built a tanning factory on the Isle de Sevres granted to him by the Republic, and later known as the Isle Seguin in the Seine at Boulogne-Billancourt, near Paris. 
he became extremely rich by becoming the supplier of Bonaparte's army and joined the merchants responsible for raising funds for the French treasury. His daughter Zoe later sold the Isle Seguin and his family lived for several generations off his colossal fortune. Seguin was the son of Hector Hyacinth Seguin, a notary at Chartres, and Marie Anne Madeleine Chancerel. In Paris, Seguin's house in the Rue d'Anjou adjoined that of Jacques Collard, the grandfather of Marie Fortuny Lafarge, and she recounts her memories of him and his children. M. Seguin was a very obscure, and very poor chemist, when he discovered, at the moment when the Republic needed equipments for its army, the method of tanning leather. They held out the prospect of a fortune if successful and of the guillotine in case of failure. M. Seguin trusted to his star, and fortune became his slave. He married a noble, but poor girl. Marie Emily Felicite Raffard de Marcelli, the daughter of Hippolyte Felicite Raffard de Marcelli, a notary in Alonson and Gabrielle Russon. They had two children, Abel, Armand Felix Abel Seguin, and Zoe, Felicite Marie Zoe Seguin. Madame Lafarge says the children of the two families formed one of those close relationships which endure through life with all their radiant reminiscences. In later life Seguin became increasingly eccentric. Among others, he developed a passion for horses and made the acquaintance of Adam Elmore, an English horse breeder who kept stables near Hyde Park. M. Elmore had no station in society, and little fortune, but the acutest horse jockey could not deceive him in the age or qualities of a horse. He was an inestimable guide in procuring a stud, a redoubtable enemy against roguish dealers, and M. Seguin made him his son-in-law from economy. Personally M. Elmore was not handsome, he had carroty locks, and did not understand two words of French, but he was a heretic, and promised to be converted. M. L. L. E. Zoe accepted him to secure heaven and a husband. The links with the Elmore family continued, Abel married Louisa Elmore, and their son George Abel Seguin married Adam's great-niece Lydia Elmore. Armand Seguin, a painter of the Pont-Avon school, was one of Seguin's great-grandchildren.